Hi, I'm Sarah, I'm a recipe writer and a food stylist and I'm going to show you how easy it is to make homemade pizzas. If you go to the Baking Mad website, you'll find a great video on how to make our olive oil dough and that's what we're going to start with today. So, I've got one batch here, it's nicely risen and doubled in size. I'm just going to knock out the air by punching it a few times. Now, one batch of this dough will make four really decent sized pizzas, so I'm just going to take a quarter or so of the dough first. Remember to cover it back up to keep the rest of the dough nice and moist. And I'm gonna sprinkle just a little flour onto my work surface. If you've got any ground polenta or semolina, that's the traditional way to do it, so you can use that too. But flour tastes exactly the same. And I'm gonna knead that until it's nice and smooth. Start with a ball because your shape will be more uniform at the end and then roll it out. So again, a little bit more flour on the rolling pin so it doesn't stick. And just start rolling and turning to keep it nice and even. Now, you'll see it springing back. Don't worry, if you just keep going and keep going, the gluten will start to relax and you'll eventually have a nice thin pizza. That looks just about perfect. It's holding its shape and staying lovely and thin. So, I'm gonna stack these up using just some greaseproof paper or parchment so they don't stick and roll out the rest. So, here is my first one ready to eat. Now I've got my others rolled out so I can bake them too or wrap them in cling film and pop them in the freezer for the best and easiest standby supper you'll ever make. They cook in exactly the same time, straight from frozen, as the fresh ones, which is at 240 degrees C, 220 fan, or as high as your oven goes, basically, for about 10 to 15 minutes until it's golden, bubbling, and gorgeous like this one. So I'm just gonna finish it with a bit of fresh basil. And if you liked this, you're gonna love all the other ideas and inspiration on bakingmad.com. Just go to the Allenton pages for the recipes.